don't move to downtown San Diego until you've watched this video. So you're thinking about moving to downtown San Diego and you're thinking, well, downtown San Diego seems like a pretty fun place to live and a pretty entertaining place to live. Well, you don't want to move here until you've done your research on the cost of living. And in this video, we're going to talk about three different grocery stores here in downtown San Diego to show you the different costs for groceries. And if you stick around until the end, I'll show you a secret hack that you can use if you decide to move to downtown San Diego that you definitely don't want to miss. We're getting after it right now. So if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in downtown San Diego or San Diego in general, then hit the subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the market here in San Diego, California. My name is Victoria Sandoval and I'm with Select Premier Properties. We get calls from people just like you every single day. So whether you're looking to buy in nine days or nine months, feel free to reach out. All my contact information is on the description below and we'll be happy to help you make a smooth move to San Diego, California. Now let's take a closer look at downtown San Diego's cost of living. Okay, so today we're going to visit three grocery stores, Ralph's, Grocery Outlet, and Smart and Final, which are the three main grocery stores here in downtown San Diego. So now we're headed to the first grocery store in downtown San Diego. We're gonna visit three stores, as I mentioned earlier. We're gonna check out the different costs for you know your everyday foods, like milk, eggs, bread, coffee. So now that we're headed to the first property, I'm actually just noticing what a beautiful day it is here. And we're just so blessed as San Diegans to live in an area where the weather, the climate's usually about 72 degrees all year long. And not only that, but there's 90 golf courses in San Diego. So it's not only a great place to live, but also a great place to vacation. And most people don't even know we have over a hundred miles of beach here in San Diego. So uh, anywhere in San Diego, most likely you'll have access to the beach or you'll only be maybe about a five to 15 minute drive from the beach, no matter where you live. What I love about the downtown San Diego Ralphs is that they have underground parking. So you get a sense of security and safety here, especially if you come at night. It's underground, they have 24 hour security. And so yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a safer grocery store, I would say in downtown. So if you're a coffee snob like I am, I need to have my Starbucks every morning. But in the event that there isn't a Starbucks around or I don't have time, I will normally go by Starbucks or I'll have Folgers at home. So let's take a look at both. We have the Starbucks pike roast and that is on sale right now for $12.49 but it's normally around $13.99 and then if you jump over to Folgers $12.99 so pretty comparable but you get a bigger size here larger which larger size all right so if we're looking at eggs here organic eggs a dozen it looks like it's around $6.99 right now it's on sale for $6.49 and then you have the traditional which are $3.49 and if you want the cage free we're looking at $4.99 so it really depends on what your preference is so here in San Diego, we love imported beer. So we're gonna take a look at Corona, the Mexican beer here. The Corona 24 pack is $27.99. It's on sale. Normally it's around $31.99, but if we're looking at, let's see here, compare it to Pacifico, which is another imported brand, which is very popular. It looks like it's much cheaper here. So it's $19.99, but it's on sale for $17.99. This is a very, very popular brand, very comparable to the Corona. All right, so we're looking at Half a gallon of fat-free milk, $3.49. If you're looking at a full gallon, we're looking at $4.99. And it depends. It looks like the reduced fat and the vitamin D are pretty much the same price here. So this is my family favorite here, the whole wheat, $5.49 it looks like. And it's on sale. So a lot of, you can get a lot of discounts here with your Rob's Club card. It's about 50 cent savings there. All right, so we're headed to the next grocery store. Like I said, there is security, as you can see behind me. Okay, keeping us safe here in downtown San Diego. So we're driving from downtown right now to Northgate, which is literally like one exit away from downtown San Diego. And so I'm just showing this video to show you how close it is. Northgate is the store that has all of the Hispanic authentic food. So Northgate is in Barrio Logan, which is one stop away from downtown. Uh, you can see the Coronado Bridge behind the Barrio Logan sign. Merca. 
Mercado Norte, which is Mercado is market in Spanish. It is a bit difficult to find parking here. Um, usually it starts to get pretty congested around three o'clock, three, four o'clock, but I think we'll have some luck finding parking right now. Oh, see, there we go. We're in luck. already prepared for you. Just pick your sides, beans and rice. And you can have a delicious meal at an affordable price. And you don't have to go far from downtown. You're literally down the street. So we're at the Albertsons now, and we're here at the Pacifico, which pretty interesting. Albertson is a little bit closer to the freeway, so it looks like the Pacifico here is $21.99, and I guess if you have a coupon, you can get it $14.99, but it's on sale for $17.99. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Corona. Wow, what a difference. Well, actually, oh yeah, what a difference. So the Corona here is $21.99, with the coupon $14.99. And so it's pretty comparable in price here versus uh, at the Ralph's. Pretty interesting. All right, so it looks like the age here are $5.89 for an 18 pack. And it looks like they might be out of all other eggs. So that's pretty interesting here. Yeah? Actually, no. So now we have, let's see here, the 18 pack of eggs here at Albertsons, $5.89, uh, $4.99 for the 12 pack. And then we saw these at the last grocery store half gallon, I'm sorry, full gallon here of milk for $4.99 and then $2.99 for a half gallon. We have the coffee here for $3.99, same type that we saw at the last place. And if you look for the Folgers, about $12.99. Ooh, they have a much larger size for $14.99. Looks like the 
total wheat here is $5.79. It's currently on sale for $4.29, but original price is $5.79. One thing you will notice in downtown San Diego is that there is security at every single location, which ensures your safety, which I personally love being a resident here of downtown San Diego. And there's always a Starbucks too at every grocery store. So the Albertsons is conveniently located in East Village. So you can see if you live in any of the East Village locations here, you're pretty much walking distance from your grocery store, making it very, very convenient. There's about three grocery stores in total in downtown San Diego. Um, we're gonna head to the last one right now. Okay, so I am here at the last grocery store, Grocery Outlet. Grocery Outlet's known to be a little bit more affordable. The only thing is that if you do shop here, you are expected to bag your own groceries, but you do get to save a ton of money. Now let's take a look at what it costs to buy the everyday necessities. So it does look like they have a limited variety here. I guess the, I would say, this would be the most comparable. Actually, here we go. Oh, they have the same brand, 389. So that's a huge jump from the last two stores uh, for the same brand of bread. And we have the milk here. Milk is, the full gallon is 369 versus the half gallon. Let's see, half gallon right over here, 229. Or it's 219 if you're looking for the half gallon reduced fat. Let's look at the eggs. $2.99 for, let's see here, 12 eggs, page free, $4.99. Why is this one more expensive? This one's an 18 pack here. You can see the difference in cost. Right off the bat, you can see the difference in cost. So I guess what they would save in paying for baggers, they transfer that savings over to the consumer, which is awesome. So I'm having trouble finding the beer and wine, and then I look straight, and of course, it's right in my face. Go figure. All right, let's take a look at the beer. All right, so here is the Pacifico 12 pack. Let's take a look. What's the price here? Oh my God, I have to move this. Pacifico, $15.99. Wow, I guess you're gonna wanna come to Grocery Outlet for your Pacifico. And it doesn't look like they carry Corona, but they carry other brands like Modelo. But yeah, definitely if you want your imported Mexican beer, if you are into Pacifico, this is the place to go. Even the Stella is $15.99 here. So it looks like I was wrong. They do have Corona, but it looks like the 12 pack of Corona is $17.99 here. I don't see it anywhere. I just see the six pack. So it must be around here somewhere, but $17.99 for a 12 pack or $8.99. They're just hiding it from me for some reason. I don't know. All right. Okay, so I just spoke to the lady over at the check stand and she did confirm that they will bag your groceries if you prefer. So that's even better. So it's definitely a win-win shopping here at Grocery Outlet. The only thing I see is that they do have a limit of inventory. So if you're not gonna find anything, I would come here first and whatever you don't find, literally three blocks away is the Albertsons that we were just at. So it might be worth it to stop by there or just walk there. All right, we're here at the coffee. We have the Starbucks. Holiday blend and peppermint blend, gingerbread, $6.99. Elsewhere, oh, it even tells you what you can get uh, it for elsewhere. So that's pretty awesome. It looks like all of the labels here will tell you how much it costs elsewhere, which is pretty awesome. Downtown San Diego offers a vibrant urban lifestyle, but it comes with a relatively high cost of living. Here are some key facts about the cost of living in downtown San Diego. The housing costs, the medium rent for a one bedroom apartment in downtown San Diego can range around $2,500 a month. And the medium sales price can range between $700 and $900, depending on the specific neighborhood. Also expect to pay about $150 to $200 for utilities. This is for basic utilities, including heating, cooling, water, garbage, and internet service. This can add an additional $60 to $100 a month. Now, when it comes to public transportation, cost may be reasonable. A monthly pass in San Diego for the MTS will cost you around $72 a month. However, most residents prefer to drive and parking can get a bit expensive, ranging between $100 to $250 a month. Groceries and dining prices can be above the national average. A grocery bill for a single person may be around three to $400. And dining is pretty pricey here in downtown, ranging about $15 to $30 a person. Now, when it comes to entertainment and leisure in downtown San Diego, there's plenty of entertainment options, but a movie ticket can cost around $15 and a gym membership can range between $30 to $100 per month. 
the average cost for a cocktail here in downtown San Diego is around $12 to $15. And if you want a mocktail, expect to pay between $8 to $12. Prices may vary depending on the venue and the complexity of the drink. High-end bars and restaurants may charge a little bit more, so you might want to take advantage of those happy hour prices. Now, when it comes to healthcare insurance, healthcare premium and out-of-pocket medical expenses are similar to the national average. An average doctor bill without insurance can be around $150. So miscellaneous expenses like personal care items, leisure activities, they may be above the national average, just depending on your demand. Overall, living in downtown San Diego is a bit more expensive than any other parts of the country, but it offers a unique lifestyle with close proximity to cultural attractions, beautiful weather, and a vibrant community. Now that concludes our video about the cost of living in downtown San Diego. Remember, if you're looking to move to downtown San Diego, feel free to reach out. My information is on the description below. You can give me a call, send me a text, or send me an email, and I'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to downtown San Diego.